A very special menu by a viral food sensation is being served up in Santa Monica. Hey, Kelsey, Suzanne Marquez joins us with more. I, you said food. Yes, <laughs> and it's incredible food. I made her food during the pandemic. It was oh, comfort food. Cool. So. I was a super fan going to meet Tegan Gerard. Oh, yes. yeah, she's awesome. She is incredible. She's a best-selling author with millions of social media followers, about six million right now on Instagram, following her brand Half-Baked Harvest with magazine-worthy photography and accessible recipes. She's on her way to building a lifestyle empire, and you can get a taste of her talent at Big Restaurant for the next few weeks. Superstar Tegan Gerard. And Tegan Gerard, aka Half Baked Harvest, is the go to for good mood food. She serves wholesome recipes with seasonal ingredients. With her impeccable eye, she's gained millions of social media followers and won the hearts of celebrities and the respect of lifestyle maven Martha Stewart. During the pandemic, baking sourdough was just the start. There you go. Okay. She taught Katie Couric how to make holiday cocktails. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. I know. Do you think I'm eager to get this taco in my mouth? And Drew Barrymore how to make spicy shrimp tacos and sweet potato nachos. I literally just took and started shoving it in my mouth. That's the only way that you eat nachos. And now you can order and taste her food for yourself. She teamed up with executive chef Damon Gordon of Fig Restaurant inside the Fairmont Miramar Hotel and Bungalows in Santa Monica. And through mid-May, you can order her most popular recipes. Tegan, I am yes. so excited to meet you, first of all. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here and to meet you. It's fun. Well, you helped me survive the pandemic with your heartwarming recipes. They're so uh, beautiful, but also comfort food. Yes, I love a little comfort food. I think that I think that all food is honestly comfort food. It's how, it's how we connect. It's how we feel good. It's how we energize ourselves. Here's the menu. Brunch is ricotta chocolate chip and banana pancakes with chia seed maple syrup. For dinner, marinated cherry tomatoes and burrata, Calabrian chili roasted red pepper pizza. We use our marinara sauce, um, but Tegan's recipe has roasted red peppers, so we fire roast them, which is really good. Everyone that has made this enjoys this recipe. Never and the dish that put her on the map, the spicy pesto alla vodka rigatoni. Tegan's success story is just as down to earth as her recipes. As the sole daughter with five hungry brothers, she started cooking to help out her family in Colorado. And about a decade ago, started to photograph and blog her recipes. Dinner was always very late. And so I kind of just started the cooking to help, you know, my family help get dinner on the table sooner. We would do a lot of chicken and rice and a lot of tacos over and over. So just like break up the variety a little bit. And so I did that throughout high school and then started the website. And here we are today, like 12 years later. She's my living the dream. My mouth is watering right now. After right? seeing that, it looks so good. Yeah, and so fresh. They went to the Santa Monica Farmer's Market oh, nearby. Oh, fun. Yeah, so you can even go do that if you go on a weekend. But if you don't want to do any of the work, just go to Fig. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're serving her recipes through May 10th at the Fairmont Miramar Hotel and Bungalows. We also have a web extra on kcalnews.com if you're a foodie, which both of you clearly are. Yes. <laughs> and you can learn what they love, what they hate, and also more of her interview. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah. Suzanne, Thanks, Suzanne. Thank you. Glad you got to meet her. I know. Me too. Ha <laughs>